I'm Brian Arrigo and I'm a candidate for City Council in Revere. And this is the house I grew up in with my mother Paula, my father John, and my sister Kim. My parents still live here and my sister is down on Tapley Ave raising her two children, Gianni and Dominic, with her husband Anthony. Like any longtime Revere resident, I've also had a lot of friends and some family move out of the city looking for a better place to live. And that's one of the reasons why I'm running for Revere City Council. I believe Revere is that better place to live. I believe Revere is a destination, not a stepping stone. And I look forward to rolling up my sleeves on day one and working with my colleagues to make it easier for people to say, I'm proud to be from Revere. Situated minutes away from downtown Boston, down the street from Logan International Airport, and accessible on the MBTA's Blue Line, Revere is in a prime location with a lot of potential. And the fact is, we've seen some of that potential. With events such as the National Sand Sculpting Competition, weekly farmers markets, and Celebrate Revere Day, just to name a few. But I still think there's more to be done. And if I'm elected in November, I look forward to working with my colleagues on the council and the new mayor to bring some new activities and new recreational events to the city of Revere. I believe these events, coupled with new and innovative policies, will make Revere an even better place to live, play, and do business. Trust in local, state, and national politics is at an all-time low. If I'm elected in November, I promise to bring transparency and accountability to Revere City Hall. That's why I've already pledged to put all of my receipts and all of my expenses related to my expense account online for all to see. And when it comes to constituent services, I promise to be second to none. I will always be accessible and I will always be available. I will be no more than a phone call away. I firmly believe that technology and social media are not something to be afraid of, but something to embrace. They're a way to put taxpayers and residents in the driver's seat of local government. As a child growing up in Revere, I attended the Paul Revere School and graduated from Revere High School. I was then afforded the opportunity to attend Suffolk University in Boston, where I received a degree in government. After graduating from Suffolk University, I accepted a position in the private sector, working with state and local governments. During my time at Public Consulting Group, I worked with the Department of Social Services to ensure the Commonwealth met federal eligibility requirements. As some of you may recall, in 2005, I ran my first campaign for Revere City Council. Although that effort came up short of victory, I met a lot of great people and became even more committed to working to improve our city. My first opportunity to do that came as I was hired to work in the Senate Committee on Ways and Means as a budget analyst for Senator Therese Murray. In this role, I was a key player in making policy and budget recommendations on transportation and public safety issues. After receiving a promotion to Deputy Budget Director, my responsibility shifted to managing a staff of analysts and working directly with Ways and Means Committee Chairman, Senator Stephen Pangiotakis. I approached every budget with the goal of striking that delicate balance between saving the taxpayers money while at the same time providing the highest level of services to the public. Following my time at the State House, my career took me to Washington, D.C where I became budget director for the DC City Council's Committee on Health. It was during my time in Washington that I learned the ins and outs of city government, especially pertaining towards affordable health care. Once more, an opportunity arose where I could put my talents to work for the residents of the city, this time back here in my home state of Massachusetts in the city of Somerville. Working directly with Mayor Curtitoni, I've seen firsthand what it's like for a city to reach its full potential. Somerville was named the All-America City in 2009 and has been named the best-run city in Massachusetts by the Boston Globe magazine. There is no reason why this can't be the case for Revere. I want to put all of this experience to work for the taxpayers of Revere, from Beacon Hill to Washington, D.C., to the city of Somerville. I have been an active player in government and have learned what it takes to truly have a government that is responsive to the voters' needs respectful of the taxpayer's money, and always looking to improve the lives of all the city's residents. My name is Brian Arrigo, and I humbly ask for one of your five votes for Councilor at Large on the Revere City Council. Please remember to get out and vote on Tuesday, November 8th. Thank you.